We know Mario did the film, but we're going to learn a little bit more about his background. I'm going to tell you just briefly about our panelists' background. Um, Dalis Sayek, yeah. good, um, is uh, a film professional here in Los Angeles and is a bridge uh, essentially between the world of cinema in Brazil and Los Angeles. She's been associated with the Los Angeles Brazilian Film Festival, the um, LA Latino Film the Festival. The Hollywood Brazilian Film Festival, I'm and, sorry. I'm sorry, the Hollywood Brazilian yeah. Film Festival, yeah. <laughs> and, which you founded. Yes. And um, is it ongoing, the Hollywood Brazilian Film Festival? Yes, we're going to be in our third year now on the 16th of March. Congratulations. Yes, <laughs> thank you. And then Luis Levy is a Le Levy is an author and filmmaker. Um, is that an accurate description? Yeah, and I also I work with public relations, so that's the final bit there. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Why have we seen more film, uh, more film projects, more TV programming about the favelas in, in, in Rio? Why do we? Or where why, why, we why do we not? You know, uh, for many of us, this is the first um, exposure we've had. Yeah. Um, one of the main reasons that I started my festival, the whole original film festival, was actually a protest to my country that we had more than just favela films to, to show. That we had other you know, ways of showing my country because after City of God, which is a beautiful film, a lot of people kind of went into this genre and exploited it to a negative sense, I think. So um, I would like to, to quote somebody that I admire, Glauber Hosha, which is one of our historical filmmakers. He says that a documentary has to be the window to those who cannot see. And uh, I think that Mario did that beautifully. And I truly, honestly, um, when I first met Mario, I told him, I'm like, listen, I don't like favela movies, you know? <laughs> but I am hoping that it, this- What is a favela movie? Describe uh, it. I don't like the exploitation of, you know, everybody that doesn't know Brazil showing that this is it. This is one window of many other windows that my countries have to show. But is uh, it a formula film? Is it a certain formula? Is it a certain? Not this one. No, no, I'm talking but about. But there is, yeah, there is a lot of people film. that get into this favela films, you know, crime and they films, show the poverty, the sadness, and everything. I and I think that the most beautiful thing that Mario did, which I think is the hardest thing for a documentary to do, is to truly allow the viewer to see what they want to see with the images that they are presented. And I honestly, all I saw with the harsh image, images that he showed was happiness, was intelligence from illiterate, literate people, and uh, uh, realness that it's, it's, it's not sad, it's their reality, but just because we have a little bit more money than them, it doesn't mean that we are happier than them. You know, and uh, I, I think that he did it really beautiful that it allowed me to see the beauty in it. And whoever saw the sadness in it, whoever saw the, the ugliness in it, he gave us the freedom to do that. And I congratulate you on that. So that's what I think about, you know, favela films. This is not what he did. What he did was poetry in documentary form. Right. Okay, so we your impressions of the film, especially in relation to other films coming out of Brazil, especially that's focused on favelas. Well, I think it's, it's fascinating um, the way this was done because I think the only other documentary I've seen that's similar, quote unquote, was the news from a private war, which from 2002, I started in college in Brazil. And I remember that, that the only difference, that that one had the side of the police, I think they had a, a guy from Bopi, which is the elite squad in Brazil. But I don't think it had the, the lyricism and the access and the truth that this one does. You know, the other movie was done by a guy that's literally a billionaire. And his family <laughs> has, he owns a bank so it's a little tilted, but this is fascinating. And I see, I see the way Brazil is portrayed in two different ways. On one, on one side, you have the, the, the passion, the sex, the beauty, the intensity, the fact that Brazilians adapt so quickly, and they, once they have a, a little bit of opportunity, they just flourish. And then you have the other side, what she was saying, which is movies that kind of celebrate the, the ugliness, the poverty, the being poor. There's a whole problem there where people with money upper middle class, it's fashionable to look for. I really think that this movie could only be made by somebody that is not, even though I think he's a Brazilian, here, he speaks Portuguese like <laughs> from Carioca. We have adopted him, <laughs> literally. But uh, I really believe that this movie that we just saw could only be made from an outsider 
because unfortunately an insider as a Brazilian or someone that lives in my country we're saturated with uh, media so it's, it's very hard for us to disconnect like he did he was able to put poetry in it and uh, he saw it through the eyes of a Portuguese that came from a different background if it was poor or rich I don't know but it was very different than that so I think that a Brazilian a carioca especially could never do that because we would be too attached and too angry. And that's exactly what the drug dealer said, is we build, they build, you know, the children, you know, when they try to go through education. And actually the media fills us, the normal human being, with anger. And it's not really the truth of what's going on out there. You know, so it's, it's everybody building anger, unnecessary anger, I think, in my country. That's what I believe. I think that is also another thing to be thought about is as a Brazilian myself, that came from no poor community. I didn't come from a favela, but I came from Caxias, which is a, a poor neighborhood. Um, are they doing this for these amazing people? Or are they doing this because we're the ninth richest country in the world? And because we're gonna have the World Cup and we're, because we're gonna have <laughs> the Olympics. the Olympics. And because you know the media is looking at us right now. So I truly, as a Brazilian, you know, hope that this is being done for the right purposes and not for media and government purposes like Mr. Jose. Jose mentioned. You know, the government come, cleans it up for a minute, put it under the carpet, and then get out. So we really, truly hope that this is the time that they see that these people need them much more, you know, than they thought. And Luis, how do you think the film will be uh, seen or accepted in Brazil? I think it's going to be very well received. I don't, I don't, I don't think um, the government is going to get too angry at it, you know. And it, it kind of shows a different stage of the war, if you must. You know, this two years ago, two years and a half ago. One thing that you know what she's saying, it makes a lot of sense. The thing is, the, the Brazilian government is going to have a huge influx of money from the Olympics and from the World Cup. And they're, and they're trying to be, Brazil's trying to become a superpower now. They're saying, we're going to be the nice United States. We're going to be the sun by the United States. And it just, crime and violence and people getting killed doesn't really match with match. that. So the government has a bunch of money now. You know, they're independent. They, they make their own gas. They don't need to import gas anymore. Right. Say, okay, let's, you know, let's you know, deal with the problem because it, it's, it's costing us too much. So it's not like they care about the poor people in the favela. They just want to make sure that that problem is dealt with for now, you know, for the Olympics, yeah. for the Cup, and hopefully something's going to change in there, the way all sides see the problem, and, you know, we're going to go, you know, go beyond this current paradigm, which is what you'll be showing in your movie.